So now let us take a look at string methods in JavaScript. Some demonstrations, very similar to what you have seen in arrays. So we are going to have similar methods for strings too, but string methods are very, very important. Let's take a look at some of these string methods here. So let, let's declare a string, say let x is equal to uh, Satish teaches JavaScript. So this is the string we are going to take up. We are going to work on certain methods here. Uh, first, we'll take a look at index of. So index of is searching whether a substring is present inside the string. Say, let me perform a console log of x dot index of. I just want to search whether teach is present inside this string. So what index of returns is, it returns the index where this particular string occurs within this string. So let's run this, let's check whether the index is being returned. So the index is seven. So where teach matches within the string is seven. If I search for something that is not present within the string, it will return a minus one. So when you have index of, you also have last index of, it will search the string from the end and then it will return the index. So it's just going to search the string from the end. Let's run this. Let's check the output. Again, it's going to be seven, but the search happens from the end of the string. So you see seven returned here. Okay. Next method is includes. So it's going to return true or false. Say if I want to search for teach which in, uh, within the string, it's a Boolean method. So it's going to return true or false. Now the match will be now we are going to find a match and then it's going to return true. If there is no match, it will return false. So you can very well check whether a string is present within another string by just using dot includes. Okay. And we'll see ends with. If you want to check whether in a specific index, a string ends with a, a specific substring for, for instance, like this x dot ends with so I just want to check whether I, whether this uh, string ends with ish in index 6. What is the meaning here? It checks whether in index 6 it ends with ish. So it's going to return a true or false. It will be true here because this is index 6 and it ends with an ish. Say it's true. If you have ends with you also have starts with. Say I can also go with starts with whether this string starts with SAT in index zero. Whether it starts with SAT in index zero, yes, so it will be a true. The output here is going to be a true. So you also have ends with and starts with. What are the parameters you are going to give? What is the substring you want to check? And what is that index you want to verify? There's one more uh, method with respect to strings character at say if I want to take the character at index one in the specific string how to perform that x dot caret index one. So now the output will be a. So you can traverse through every character in a string using caret. See this is character at one. How do you find length of a string? Length of a string is nothing but x dot length. Just call the property length and then log it. So it will just print the length of the string. So the length of the string is 25. That's what we are getting here. I hope you are able to follow the length of a string. Now let's take a look at the next method repeat say x dot repeat. So it repeats the string as many number of times you mention here. Say if I say two times the entire string will be repeated two times and given as the output. You'll be able to see the output to the right. So what is the output you see Satish teaches JavaScript Satish teaches JavaScript two times the string got repeated twice. Next uh, method we'll see is replace. If you want to replace Satish with 
Matthew. So how I can replace that? For this, let me log it like uh, x dot replace is the method you are going to call. What you are going to replace? I am going to replace Satish with what? With Matthew. So now you will be able to see the output. Instead of Satish teaches JavaScript, you should be getting Matthew teaches JavaScript. So replace will replace a string, a substring within your string. You also have slice with strings. How do you slice a string? It's exactly like what you did with arrays. Say I log this output. X dot slice you are going to call and then you give the starting index and then the ending index. Ending index is not included. So it starts from A and it goes up till T. So it starts from 1 and it goes up till 2. 3 is not included. So what will be the output here? The output will be AT. That should be the output when you slice. See, AT is the output. Let me clear the output. If I just give the starting index, what will be the output? It will start from A, the entire string from 1 till the end will be given as the output. So let me run this. So entire string from A till the end is sliced. So that is with respect to slice. We will take a look at split. The next uh, string handling method split. So what split does is you have to give a delimiter. So if I say space is the delimiter, it will split this entire string into uh, what to say various substrings and it will return an array of strings. So split will return an array of strings. I will show you how to use that. So I will say constant k. Since I am getting an array of strings, I will read it in k. I will call x dot split and then I should give the delimiter. How it will split this string using the space. So you will have an array. Let me log this array and show you. Uh, let me why this is okay. Let me log this array. So you'll be able to see what is the output return. So the output that will be returned is Satish teaches JavaScript. See now it's an array. You can very well uh, traverse the array like this. I can use a for loop for let i of k. I can uh, log the contents in the array. So now it's an array of strings. Let me run this. So you can split a string and then move it into an array. Now you'll be able to see every element. Satish, in, Satish is an in index 0, teaches an in index 1, JavaScript is an in index 2. So split a very useful method. You can give the delimiter. Based on the delimiter, your string gets split and an array gets created. You also have substring in Java. So what is this substring again like uh, very much like slice let me log it and show you so substring how will you call substring is st string variable dot substring and uh, pass the starting and ending index say if I give the ending index it will not be included so what will be the output here a and t will be the output let's run this again very much like slice so a t is the output you also have two uppercase and two lowercase. Say if I want to print this entire string in uppercase or lowercase, I can say two lowercase. And uh, you're going to see the entire string in lowercase. You also have the uh, reverse of that two uppercase also you have uh, two uppercase. That's the output. So we have seen many string handling methods. There's one more important method, comparison of two strings. So we're going to use two strings here. Say let x is equal to a. I will just use simple strings a and let y is equal to b. Two simple strings I'm going to use and how to compare whether these two strings are equal. So let me log the output here. I'm going to say x dot local compare with y. So what it compares is the lexographical order. This is A, this is B. A doesn't come after B in the lexographical order. So the output will be minus 1 here. Let's see the output. See it's minus 1 because A doesn't come after B in the lexographical order. If I reverse this, y dot 
local compare x what will be returned as 1 because here y means b b comes after a in the lexographical order so you are going to get a 1 as the output Control Alt N. See, one is the output. If I have something like both of them have the same values, whether it is x dot local compare y or y dot local compare x, the output will be zero. So if these two strings are equal, then the output will be zero when you are going to use the local compare method. That's about the string handling methods. Hope you are able to follow this. What all methods we have discussed? Local compare, character that, concatenation. Concatenation I have missed. What do you mean by concatenation? So what is concatenation? Just join two strings and display. So it's not, nothing but x dot concat whatever uh, string I have y. What will be the output? AB will be the output here. That's it. So we have seen concatenation to and what other things we have seen includes ends with, starts with, index of, last index of, length, repeat, replace, slice, split, substring, to lower case and to upper case. Not only this, we have more methods in string handling functions. We will revisit them while you are working with regular expressions. Are you clear with string handling? Okay.